Maybe trade. Stewarding is nice, but until we have a settlement, it's kind of pointless. Casualty, survival chance. This is just for the surgeon, which I'm not. Trade looks valuable long term. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or we just double down on the combat. We could probably do with another focus in one-handed weapons. Possibly even another focus in pole arms, frankly. Maybe even athletics. Although we're not a foot soldier. Tactics still has a fair amount to grow. These will have a fair amount to grow. Steward and engineer could do with improvement, but they're harder to raise at this stage of the game. I'm thinking pole arm. Riding for better horses. Also true. And actually the uh, learning rate here is lower than any of my other major skills. Let's do riding. Okay, good choice. I can't believe we lost nine men in that battle. I'm even a tactician. Uh, I would like you to become another infantryman. Make you a footman. Make you a crossbowman. Make you also a crossbowman. Oops, no, don't fire him. Just trying to, trying to press done. Oh yes, and I do have a point, don't I? Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this has kind of got to be another point of vigor. Because I am trying to increase my combat skills. My social is already incredibly high. The other one that might be would be an endurance, but the only skill I'm actually training in endurance is riding. I think we're going to go with vigor. And there we go. Done. So how fast am I moving? 5.9. Okay. 4.9. So we move a full point faster than these guys. Come back here! Surrender or die, Brigand, with weird hood. Looks like he had spikes coming out of a hood. Surely that would hurt you more than it would hurt us. Warriors! Move out! Men. Here, get move! Warriors! Follow me! Uh, who are they? Did we have allies at this battle? Those are the townspeople. Are they? No, I think this is a militia patrol. So brutal. Well, that was easy. Militia of Marin. Interesting. One poor set of boots. Great. Nice if I could catch a bunch of these groups together, but there's no way I'm going to do that. Attack! This is a pretty long mace, but it's still... You have to get really close. Am 
My archer companion's not standing in the front line, isn't he? Oops, that's what I meant. I meant party. He should be. Oh, the Volandians are at war with somebody else, yes. They're at war with the Britannians. I'm just clearing up some of the looters around here because there were so many of them. Attack! But we do overwhelm them so heavily. It's just the auto result is so bad. That I have to fight these myself. and I just killed there. Just boar speared that guy. Harsh. Yes, any refining or smelting gives you smithing skills. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Are there still couch lances? I think so, but I haven't found any that you can actually couch. Alright, so who are you fighting right now? You're over here by Dunganis. Dunglanis, whatever you want to pronounce it. Or I could continue trying to do some quests. Oh, you're over here now. Somewhere completely different. Let's go and see what attacking the villagers does. Greetings, my lord. We are farmers from the village of Bog Berth. We're taking our products to market to the Carbanzeth. I'm going to the market too. What products do you have? Carry on. Or whatever you have, I'm taking it. Surrender or die. What? We're not warriors, but I bet we can take you. If you want our goods, you'll have to fight us. Alright then. <clears throat> 25 versus 21. This shall call for tactics. Oh, God. Ooh. Then again. Infant on my flag! Warriors! Get moving! Footmen! Hear me! Forward! He is with the archers. It's right there. Oh, but there are some crossbows Shoot in the front line. Footmen! You are. Warriors! On me! Wow. Peasant? Tessa, crikey. Is 
So they thought they could take us, did they? They were dead wrong. Oh, that wasn't Tessa, that was Magna. Magna. Victory is ours. We lost nothing. Hmm. And we took ten prisoners. Nice. Here we go, it's the levy crossbows that are in the wrong place. Okay, now that explains why my uh, ranged line was always so puny. Because the crossbows with the wrong group. Okay. Ooh, we took some horses. Don't mind if I do. Didn't get a huge amount from them. Like, at all. Probably not really worth going after peasants. <clears throat> Should I go for Vlandian or Azurai? I mean, the Azurai do have the really nice trading bonuses. And the Vlandians do have the experience. I'm enjoying Vlandian, but you're seeing the Vlandians already from me playing them. So maybe try Azurai, just for something different. Not ransoming prisoners? We do. We do. I can just carry quite a few. Warriors! Onward! That's more Onward! bloody Onward! like Heal it. Oh, we got a militia group again. These militia units are huge! This is more like it. Now we have the crossbows actually fighting with the crossbows. Are the formations any good? It seems to be. They do their job. What did they have them? Thank you for running into me. Much obliged to you, sir. Look at this. He picks it up by the head. It's just so correct. See? By the head and then flicks it into his hand. It's nice. Hooray, we win. Huzzah! Sparrowhawk coming in with a... 16 month resubscription. Thank you very much for that Sparrowhawk. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Tally ho. Tally ho indeed. Alright, I think it's probably time for us to head back to a friendly town to sell up. That's a big group of villagers, crikey. Okay, so we want to Tavern District Ransom. We want to go to Recruit Troops. No, these are Batanians. We want to trade to get rid of all of this stuff. Make 600 ducats. That's pretty good. What, was there a tournament here? No. Arenas have tournaments. That's true, I've never actually been to the arena. That's a big chair. 
Tournament Master. Good day, friend. I bet you're here for the games, or as they say nowadays, the tournament. There's a tournament going on. You bet. Wow, that, that was very old-timey. You betcha! There's a tournament here every Sunday. Say, you look like a fighter. You should join. Back in the old days, it was all condemned criminals and fights to the death. Nowadays, they use blunted weapons. It's boring. It's quite the opportunity to make your name. You risk no more than your teeth. And didn't the heavens give us 30 of those just to have a few spare for grand opportunities like this? When there's no tournament, it's still worth coming by. A lot of fighters spent their time here practicing and to keep trim. And we'll award the winners a few coins for their troubles. And tell me how these tournaments work. The rules of a tournament are standard across Colorado, even across the Empire. We match the fighters up by drawing lots. I'm not doing the American accent anymore. Sometimes you're part of a team, and sometimes you fight by yourself. The lots determine what weapons you get. The winners of each match proceed to the next round. When there are only two left, they battle each other to be declared the champion. And the practice fights, we leave the arena open to anyone who wants to practice. There are no rules, no teams, everyone beats each other until there's only one fighter left standing. Sounds like fun, eh? So you pay us to fight, what's it for you? Well, even the practice fights draw those who like to bet on the outcome, but the tournaments, those pulling crowds from miles around. The merchants love a tournament, and that's why they'll pony up the silver we need to pay for good souls like you who take and receive the hard knocks. How much are the prizes? Well, we like tournaments to be memorable, so the sponsors pitch together and buy a prize that will be talking about the markets for weeks. A jeweled blade, say, or a fine bred warhorse, something a champion would be proud to own. Can I join? Certainly. Looks like a few of our lads are warming up now in the tournament. You can go and hop in if you want to, or come back later if you just want to practice. I want to do a practice fight first. No. Except I can't, because there's a tournament going on. Enter your name in the lot, so when your turn comes up, be ready to go there and start swinging. Alright, let's do this. A Boer veteran of Lundian Vuliagia, uh, Agdil and the uh, Morcon. Oh, I'm in the second group. And we've got some Eastern Studded Shoulders. Ooh, watch it. I'm curious. <laughs> So, the Boar Veteran and the Vlandian Vuliagia won. Hagdil was the first to go down. Ah, here we go, now I can bet. What's the maximum? 300. I'll bet... 100. You can tell I'm super, super confident. Megan Frostbeard, Kuzate Footman, Magna, and me. With two handed weapons. Well, I hit them once. Yeah, I really don't like the blocking in this system. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Um, next up, let's see. Yeah, Van Klinken, I'm not going to stop reading. Sorry. I read it out because I'm also reading it. If you don't like that, go and watch someone else. Sorry. Alright, so let's go after these looters. And see if we can catch them. Surrender or die, brigand! Attack. Charge! 
Hey Moji, you can tick the things you want to sell on the right and then just click the double arrows on the top of the screen when selling things. Okay, I'll need to take a look at that. Tessa's off on her own again. Wait for me! I too would like to stab things with a pointy stick. That's a pointy stick here. you're trying to stab me with. But that's just not fair. Victory's ours. Honestly, that 2v2 seems like it will need to be changed. When one person goes down, the partner will die. Yeah, it's not the best system ever. Uh, these are peasants. I don't think I actually want peasants. Recruits, yes. Peasants, no. Because as someone pointed out yesterday, they are mercenaries, which means they'll be more expensive. Uh, right. Who are these people and why am I not at war with you? The wolf skins, the forest people. Am I not at war with them anymore? I am. Who are you? Are they mercenaries? Oh, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. I am Mordred. Who are you? I'm Lucane of the wolf skins. Don't believe we have any quarrel with you. Perhaps you've heard of the wolf skins, traveller. We are beasts. Know that as long as we eat no cooked meat, wear no woven cloth, and sleep under no roof, we cannot be touched by the laws of men, so tread carefully with us. Why, what is it? Nothing. Are these like knighthood orders? He looks like a smug sort. Yeah, he kind of does. Vegan Vikings. I want to go and find some uh, sea raiders, so we're going to go over by the coast. And if these looters fail to get out of my way, I'll kill them on the process too. Okay, let's get those. And get those. So you were saying you can lock stuff. Oh, I see. You're saying lock these. Whoops. And then I can just sell everything else. Oh, we've got some iron. Okay. That makes sense. Drink tea! Well, alright then. Attack! Really wish there was a bigger variety than just looters. 
I know I've said this before, but it's, it's standing out quite heavily. All right, let's get to uh, Praven. See what we can do here. Um, intense trained uh, snake eyes. Could also recruit some more troops. Ah, including some levy crossbows. I will go ahead and hire those. I don't want to recruit too many troops because fights are already ludicrously easy. Uh, now, is there anything else I want to save before I sell all of this? I don't think so. So let's do this. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, this place does have a lot more weaponry and things available. Is it time for an upgrade? How are you for armor? There is another set of lamella shoulders. Which I think I will purchase. And there's also a much better horse harness, which I think I'm going to buy for myself. And the light harness is just lighter. And then we can sell that. And you, I'm going to get those. We'll go ahead and sell that too. Okay. Um, any gloves or anything you do. And also better boots. Now my boots are better already. I would like to get everyone proper gloves though. Okay, that'll do. Paying 500, that's acceptable. Right, what mission do you have? Can't sell their products, not doing that one. An army of poachers, okay. Fencing stolen goods, no. Let's, let's have a word about the army of poachers. What'll be my last weapon slot? Probably nothing. It's a good idea to not have every weapon slot full because it weighs you down, makes you slower. So very often, if I was doing, for example, a two-handed soldier, you would see me with just one weapon, which is my two-hander, and that's it. Because I need to be as quickly as po as quick as possible. Uh, my name is Mordred. Who are you? You're Isilflaed. Uh, what do you need? I'm in real trouble with poachers. A few days ago, I invested in them to hunt for me at the royal grounds. I paid all the hush money to the local authorities and even the nobles to give them free passage, and then we made a fortune. After a while, the poachers built up an army of their own, and they're earnings and muscled me out of the leather business. I want you to go and crush them. Go to Palisona and kill them all. Alright. Every night they transfer huge amounts of goods around midnight into town and hunt them down. Normally smugglers always run away if they're busted by armed men, but these men have no fear. Be ready for a strong resistance. Oh, okay. So this is a mob fight. We're gonna get annihilated. So we'll probably lose this one too, because I haven't won a single battle in a town yet. So exactly how tough is this? Army of Poachers, minus five days. Okay. So we need to go to Palisona around midnight and kill the poachers. Where is Palisona? Uh, 